Aloha YouTube, what is up? Untied Hawaii here coming at you once again with another Soul Steals hype box. Soul Steals hype boxes are essentially mystery boxes full of hype beast apparel. They can be Supreme, they can be Bape, there can be a whole bunch of different stuff in there. But hopefully this box has shoes because we haven't had shoes in a hype box in kind of a while. It's it's not a bad thing, but you know, we kind of miss the shoes. It'd be cool. Anyway, it is $1,000 though. I'm happy you guys are coming back to watch these videos because man, it's really fun opening these things. But before we get into the hype box, I do want to give a shout out to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. If you guys have ever bought anything from like my web store and stuff it's actually powered by squarespace which is really dope because i've got like i think 200 something plus sales now on there i'll show you guys later on in the video though how they've been helping me specifically and how i've been using them to sell things in these hype boxes but yeah let's open this up first and see what we got one thousand dollars <laughs> <laughs> okay, man, right at the very top of the box, there's shoes, so that's a good sign. And it's actually in my favorite shoe box, a Jordan 1 shoe box. I don't know if I should click at this yet. It's on the top. We got to do it. We got to do it. We'll start off hot and then I guess maybe work backwards or, you know, maybe it's not a super hyped shoe and it just could be like a Shadow 1 or a Game Royal. If it's a Shadow 1 or Game Royal, that's still cool, but obviously a not great resale. I was wrong on both accounts. This is a size 11 Jordan 1 though, but yeah, I don't think it's either of those two shoes because this is actually a pair of the Jordan 1 clay greens. You guys see right there. I've had a pair of these before, but I actually ended up getting rid of it just because I wasn't a fan once I saw it in hand of the material on the back. Like I knew that it was like some kind of suede and stuff. It just feels not very quality to me. And yeah, the leather and stuff isn't the greatest. It was kind of stiff. And at the time I was like, I needed a green shoe. So I wanted to pick this one up. But thankfully, the pine greens did come out, so yeah, don't really need this one anymore. Anyway, let's see what we got next. I guess that wasn't like the super hyped item. Um, Next up, we got a bathing ape tee. So you guys can see right here, it's a bait camel design. Camel like literally everywhere with that shark design in the middle. I'm not sure how much these go for, but this one is a size large. Honestly, I'm assuming it's probably like 120 bucks because I feel like every single babe shirt is pretty much in that ballpark, like no matter what shirt it is, like every single time. Check stock eggs. I promise they're like almost all the same. <laughs> so let's see, one, two, we got like three items left, I think. Um, next one out is another babe tee though. This one is another black shirt, but it has that huge bape head and this one is in pink. So yeah, your boy doesn't look very good in pink. Do I have pink on this shirt? A little bit, I guess, kind of, not really. <laughs> but yeah, I don't really have any shoes or anything to match this. So this one will probably be going up for sale as well. I know you guys are probably laughing because you're like, why doesn't he unfold the shirt? But honestly, man, it takes forever for me to try to like figure out how to fold this thing so that it fits back into this bag. Like these tees are long. So it's not like an average fold. Just weird stuff I notice when I go back and watch my own videos and I'm like, why did I not open that? So in case you guys are wondering, that's the reason why, see? And even after all that, I still messed up. The thing is not perfectly like in there. All right, so I think there's two more things in here. Ooh, this one's actually kind of cool. So it's a Supreme piece. So you guys can see right here, it's like a plain Supreme embroidered design but it has like a little bit of like floral print on the inside. So this one's actually not bad. It's very like minimalistic, but it has a little bit of flavor with that like floral design. And I think it's just kind of cool that it's like actually like embroidered in here. It does say that the retail was $78. So I'm assuming that it's either around that price or a little bit higher. You know, this design isn't that bad. I might end up actually keeping this one. All right, so I see this last piece in here and this might be the freaking fifth time that we've gotten the same piece in here. If it is the same piece though, I'm gonna like, I don't know what I'm gonna do, man. So you guys can see right here, it is North Face. So you guys know it's North Face Supreme. This is what I've seen in the box though, but thankfully this is not the same parka that we've been getting like literally four times I think now. It is from the same drop though, it's just not the parka one. This is actually like the fleece version. So you guys can see the American flag over here, North Face over here, patch obviously that says North Face Supreme. This is pretty much why people buy this thing is for this patch right here. Oh, this was actually a lot better than the parka. So I don't typically do this on screen. Um, I like never look at the prices until like the very end. So you guys know the prices and I really don't, but I'm very interested to see how much that one is. So I'm gonna look it up now. Uh, TNF, oh, right there, yeah. First thing that pops up. So this one in a size large is worth Okay, the lowest ask on stock X is $14.50. I'm pretty darn sure it doesn't go for that amount. But the recent prices that it's been sold for is like about $8.50 to 1000 It does appear that this one is the better version, I would think. But yeah, we still gotta see. 
thankfully when I get these things in now it is winter season for the mainland obviously not for over here it's like summer year round in Hawaii but for the mainland like there's a bigger demand basically for like things like parkas hoodies stuff like that so good time to sell these if you guys have stuff like this obviously I can't keep this one even though I think this one is actually a lot better than the parka but yeah it is a little bit too hot for me to wear these things over here so I will be putting it up on the web store which is powered by today's sponsor, Squarespace. Like I was saying earlier, I've been using Squarespace for literally over a year now. That's not fabricated. That's literally how long I've been using Squarespace. And it has been a huge, huge thing for me when I'm selling sneakers and stuff like that, man. If you guys go through like apps and stuff where you guys got to sell through their platform, they usually charge a fee, which is like basically 10%, which is huge. Squarespace doesn't do that. Anytime you make a sale and stuff, they don't charge you a percentage off of what you sell. So I think that's huge because you save a lot of money in the long run if you're selling like a lot of shoes like I am or a lot of like Supreme or Hypebeast kind of stuff. The main thing that caught my eye when I was first trying to figure out, okay, what platform am I going to use to like start my business? It was difficult because I was like, I don't know how to do web design. So for me, that was like very daunting because if I don't have a nice looking website, clean aesthetics and stuff like that, nobody's gonna wanna buy from me. The thing is, is that Squarespace actually makes it very, very easy for you to like upload your items. They have templates and stuff, so you can literally design your website in the way you want it to look. And it's just very, very easy and straightforward. So yeah, if you guys are interested in any of that, my link is in the description below. Or if you guys are interested in starting up your own business today and you guys wanna do what I'm doing, basically selling sneakers and Supreme stuff, then go down to the description below, click on the link, squarespace.com slash untied Hawaii. If you guys click on that link, you will be given a 14 day free trial to use Squarespace so you guys can figure out do you like it? Is this best for you? And you guys can actually see like how easy it is to set everything up. And beyond that, if you guys do end up wanting to use the service for a long term, there will be a 10% discount off your first purchase. So highly recommend you guys click on that link because if you guys want to start a business, it's pretty much the go-to place for everything, like for everything, man, all in one platform. I love it. I use it every single day and it's made my experience very, very good. And I'm not saying that because it's sponsored. I literally love this service. I literally use it all the time and I wouldn't use it for a whole year if it wasn't working for me. So check that link out in the description below. Anyway, this hype box is done. I feel like we made a huge amount of profit on it. $800 jackets, 150, I don't know, $200 shoes. I hope they went up in value. And then like three T's and stuff. So I feel like that's great value. You're probably like 25, 30%, 40% over the thousand that we spent on the box. So that's a good investment for me. But until next time, stay humble, stay blessed. Take care guys. I'll see you, aloha. Shoots.